we're back with Quidditch. We're gonna go meet a Warren. It's nice to see you in good spirits. Now that Madam Hooch has reinstated our team, our burden has been suddenly lifted. I'm just lucky we were able to work so well together with the Ravenclaw. You and Sky showed great leadership in organizing that secret match, and even if the match ended before it began, uh, the plane still worked. You led the team through a difficult trial. That's a good point, although I would have liked to have seen you as a referee. I was excited to utilize balance in a new way, but mostly I wanted to see you out on the Quidditch pitch again. Uh, could have been a good next step in reigniting your spark. Uh, although I did not get to referee, I was able to once again bask in the Quidditch atmosphere. That's brilliant. It would be a great, be great to have you back with us again soon. Now that we have been reinstated, you have greater concerns than uh, my Spock. We need to prepare for our match against Slytherin. With our suspension behind us, we can finally focus again on the Courage Cup. Be indeed, and you and Sky have proven that you are more than up to the task. But winning the Courage Cup is very difficult, different from getting our team reinstated. But the ability to overcome the challenges is rooted in the same thing, balance. Then I suppose we focusing on balance may help me with this new challenge. Brilliant, that's exactly what I need. How do you feel after a boom balance? And it was good to get up on a boom again and clear my head in it, but I'm still not at your level. That's to be expected. It's n it is not easy to achieve true balance. I am still on that journey myself. What what does that journey involve? Any athlete's quest for balance requires them to no show three sides of the being: mind, body, and heart. Mind, body, and heart. Those do all sound important. Uh, how should I? We go about nurturing three elements. There is no one. Wait, method, no, any specific path to follow. Rather, it will be up to you as the leader of the team to decide the journey you must all uh, take together. Uh, begin with yourself. Which of these three sides of being do you currently feel most nurtured in? Body is the most nurtured. I've spent a lot of time practicing the physical aspects of courage. You should use your physical abilities to guide this journey. And let's, that's what I'll do. I just hope I can pull it off. You do not have to do this alone. As much as, as they are for the team, the team is there for you. I should go discuss this with Sky before practice. I hope the pursue doesn't get to me. And it's about time we had a real match to train for. We're ready to restart our hunt for the Courage Cup. That's actually what I wanted to talk to you about before practice. I just received some advice from a Warren. This about. He's just suggested that we become more balanced for Courage uh, by nurturing three sides of our being. Shouldn't be too hard. What are they? Heart, mind, and body. Didn't happen to mention how exactly we nurture those things. Not quite. He seemed to trust our leadership skills. We have been doing a smashing jobs with the team. Uh, but I also think a Warren strategy can take our team from great to the best. No time to waste then. Be because we, the best is what we need to be. I wonder which of these three things we should work on first. I'm most confident in my physical courage abilities and Warren told me to let those abilities guide my journey. So why don't we start nurturing our bodies? Sounds good. The team could use some exercise. But we still need to come up with a plan of attack on how to nurture that, that element. Uh, how about a race before our practice to wake up our bodies then we'll be able to come up with some ideas. You better mount those booms quick because we are racing. How are you feeling? It didn't look so great from where I was flying. Appreciate the honesty. 
Those races are always quite tiring. I'll give you that. Racing on boomstick is harder than on our bodies than it looks, uh, which is exactly why we need to do them uh, more no- to nurture them. Uh, perhaps it's time for some new training methods. But the question is, what new training methods? How about asking math intense training is her specialty? Although she may take some convincing now that our teams are competing for the Courage Cup again. How do you think you can persuade her? I'll use flattery. The moment I mention her great physical training methods, she won't be able to resist. Good thinking, Rath loves you and how great she is. I think it will work, but before I go to Rath to for advice on new training exercises, let's get in some more practice. You to see what a real beetle can do. You're actually not too far off. I was hoping to get your help with something. And you already need help. Willa Warren has set us on a path up to vo- note you, our bodies, minds, and hearts uh, in order to find balance. We decided to first focus on our bodies, which means learning some new chain exercises and considering you're the best at all things courage. I thought you... Better to help, uh, who better to help the, than Erica Wrath? Does that mean you'll teach me your ways? But only if you help me do something. Uh, you're the best after all. Let's just show these dummies ready when you are. Not bad. Uh, thanks. You make hitting those dummies look easy. If your team is trained like they should, a bit harsh, but all right then, what should we do to improve? I suppose I can tell you about one of my preferred exercises. Maybe too difficult for the Griffin team, though. The exercise is boomstick pull-ups. While they float? Yes, while they float. That's brilliant. Some obvious, seems obvious to me. The Griffin team has wasted too much time balancing on booms. I don't think we have wasted time with boom uh, balancing. Balance is important in Quidditch, and it's been vital to our success. But that doesn't mean we can't make time for something new. Uh, boomstick pull-ups will be a great full step to nurturing our bodies. Then once uh, you are done with that, we'll try something else. I'm excited to try these pull-ups. We're gonna go train our team. Should I have such more? Mm. How did it go with Wrath? Did she agree to help us nurture our bodies? Yes, she did, thanks to my convincing, of course. She was flattered by my praise and couldn't say no. So she even got me started on the training. The training dummies took the bond of Wrath's beating. Uh, but, uh, we also discussed a wonderful favorite training exercises, boomstick pull-ups. It's an exercise that you will train our bodies in a way that they haven't been trained before. When it comes to Chris's training, she knows what she's doing. Listen up, you lot. We are going to try a new training exercise today. Now, it's part of our quest for balance. We need to nurture our minds, bodies, and hearts to achieve balance. And this new exercise will target our bodies. Won't be easy, but it will work. Uh, we are going to do boomstick pull-ups. We do all that boom balancing for a reason being. So let's not forget its importance. Boomstick pull-ups certainly can be challenging, can barely feel my hands, but hopefully that's a good sign. Do you really think this is what Oran had in mind? Oran didn't give anything specific exercises in mind when he said he need, we need to nurture our bodies. He told me there are many possible paths to follow, so hopefully boomstick pull-ups is one of them. It only feels in no tune, so I'd say we're on in the right path. The team just took a big step in our quest for balance. Our bodies are more pa- prepared for Kurdish than ever before. 
but there's still more to be done before moving on into mind and heart. Andre, good to see you. Good to see you too. Erica told me about your mission to get your body in better shape for courage, so I thought I'd join in. You don't mind, do you? Of course not. I'm not on this journey alone. Perhaps we will be able to help each other th through whatever Wrath has planned. Uh, that's work to be done. I'm counting on it. I came here to learn a new training exercise so that I can continue to nurture my body. Before I teach you something new, we are going to do more boomstick pull-ups. Uh, they are necessary to get in better and help uh, weed out the weak. Was that supposed to be reassuring? You just started doing boomstick pull-ups. Why don't you tell Andre what you think of them? They're challenging uh, exercises, but the benefit is worth the pain, although I am still so from the last time. I hope you are right. How do boomstick pull-ups relate to the new exercise you are teaching us today? I was using the pull-ups to learn a new Quidditch move, the Hainan boom block, boom block. How does that move work? Alright, now that we are up on our booms, knock me off. Get ready to hang on and block while Andre tries to score. Well done, you held on tight. It was certainly impressive from where I was f flying. And this will be a great move to use in our next match. Thanks for another effective and slightly painful training session. We will be much more prepared for an intense match. It's time I see how my team is feeling. I push them hard during our last practice and need to make sure they stay balanced. Then give them a break. The hardest part of training is knowing when to stop. You're right, you're right. Uh, Owen says balance is achieved by nurturing the body, mind, and heart, not by tiring them out. So now that we have worked hard on that body, it's time to move on to our minds.